good question I hear sometimes is, if baptism is a gift and the work of God, who should do the baptizing? And normally we would answer that question with pastors. I want to come back to that in just a moment. It doesn't have to be. We have a couple of resources that, if you are a Lutheran, you may already own these. One is our hymnal, and the other is the 2017 copy of Luther's Small Catechism. It's not quite as easy to find in the hymnal, because the back immediate back page is the creeds. But if you turn back just two pages there, you will find holy baptism in cases of emergency. I have made a photocopy of that. I keep that folded up, tucked in my wallet, so it's with me wherever I am, pretty much, so that if I see a car wreck or I get an emergency phone call from a family to go to the hospital, I'm prepared out of nowhere to be able to give that gift to somebody who needs it. Again, the catechism, it is literally the very inside of that back cover. You can, in a case of an emergency, do a baptism. If you do, report it to your pastor, to your congregation, because baptism is not just a random act. Baptism is a gift that welcomes a person into the kingdom of God, into the family of God, and we seek to nourish and to care for that gift. We want to bring that person up in the truth of God's word and in the faith and continue to give God's gifts to them. And that's part of the good order of the church. That brings us back to why normally a pastor. The pastor is the man your congregation has called to do it. right? God has entrusted his gifts, his sacraments, to his church. He's called his church to make sure that those are always available to the people. And the church then, that local congregation, calls a pastor to serve that role, to make sure that the forgiveness of sins through word and sacrament are always available to the people. It's about good order. The scriptures have a lot of conversations about that. 1 Corinthians 11 through 14 is an example of an entire section that's about good order in worship. So the other part of this is to note that your pastor is, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, he is a steward of the mysteries of God. That word mystery ends up in Latin as sacramentum, which gives us the English word sacrament. Pastors are stewards of the mysteries. They're stewards of the sacraments. They're meant to care for them and to make them available to you. So as part of that good order, the church normally reserves baptism for the work of the pastor in and before the presence of the congregation so the people know who they get to love and who they get to work with in the days to come the years to come. But in the case of an emergency, you too can also do a baptism. Thanks be to God for this wonderful gift that he gives.